Hi girls, how about a nice quick smoky eye when you're on holiday? Something really easy to chuck in your makeup bag, like three pens basically. This is a Charlotte Tilbury eye I'm going to do for you. Now when you're in hot climates or you're in humid climates you don't really want to mess around with blending and powders and eyeshadow, you want to keep it quite simple. So I've kind of done my skin, got it all bronzy, been in the sun for a couple of weeks, having a great holiday, but I kind of want to have a sultry eye. I'm going to show you how to do it really quickly. First of all, we're going to be using um, a Colour Chameleon pen, one of Charlotte's. This is called Amber Haze. And I'm going to line all of my lid and underneath my lid with this product. Now, as you can see, it goes on really quickly. Follow the line of your eye, but again, make sure when you look in the mirror, you just go over the top of your socket to open it out. Take it right out to the side here. People always forget their profile and rather than kind of finishing it quite short take it out quite far and loop it under the eye I mean this pen is perfect for even the most sensitive of eyes just keep the lid on because they do dry out so if you just put it on put the lid back on straight away and you'll get nice longevity out of the product now what I suggest before going to the next eye um, I want you to blend it straight away because these products brilliantly dry very quickly um, so you won't be able to get a nice sort of like soft finish I'm going to use a flat cotton bud for the underside here just to sort of build it up very slightly now as I always say it's just getting that lovely um, depth of colour depth of pigment along the lash line so you must always kind of build up and let it feather out so you might need just to go in again so you get that lovely diffusion of colour outwards. So because we're going to go a bit more smoky and a bit more sultry, it's just this outer V shape that you really need to pull out. So many people just kind of get scared of kind of going further away from their lash line. Um, they keep it very tight to their lash line, but what that does is essentially close your eye. Um, the further that you can pull the shadow or the cream stick, away from your eye, you create a much wider, bigger eye. You know, it's like increasing the surface area of your eye, isn't it? Making it look bigger. And if you're having or creating a smoky eye, you are running the risk of making your eyes look smaller. So always make sure that you kind of keep a nice, soft, sultry smoke around your eyes to make sure they remain big. Now, obviously you can use your finger for this. You can use a brush. But you know, if your skin's just sort of hot, it should blend in just kind of really well. And just take that hardness off around the edge there and come in this angle here. Really pull out this outer V and then bring the pen along, as you can see, to really intensify that area. And once dry, they will stay put lovely. Smudge that in and bring it out. I want to make my top lid sun keeps going in and out I do apologize I used natural light to try and make my films as real as possible um, and sometimes it's cloudy and that's perfect or sometimes it's bright sunshine and that's perfect because it's consistent but anyway there we go I'm sure you don't mind you're getting the gist right okay so nice and simple quick and easy then we're going to go in with the rock and coal pencil now this is called Barbarella Brown and I use this a lot at work it's almost black, it's super, super, super deep, deep, deep chocolate. So you get that intensity, but it's not as hard as black. And that's why I love this shade. It's just a little bit more gentle. So if you're feeling that you've got, you know, when you put black on, it's just too hard. Now, sometimes as we get older, you want to kind of soften things. Here comes the sun. Um, and sometimes black can be quite jarring. So just an off black or a really lovely, chocolatey brown don't go too orange with the brown make it deep so you still get that intensity so i've taken it in my waterline now to start with a good guide is to put it on the outer corner of your eye and close then trace the coal just to those lower lashes there and then really embed the color now it's super soft just to the outer corner of the eye because we're really going to pull it out and make it soft and sultry. Then go in with your flat cotton bud and just push it in, push, 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 so it kind of really merges into the cream shadow. 
and get that lovely shape on the outer corner of your eye. Again, of course, you can use the warmth of your finger. You know how much I love to use fingers. It's a really easy way to blend your makeup. And that's really effective really quickly, I think. So take colour out, extend it, helping you know where to take the line. And on the outside, using the side of the pencil, not the point, because if you use the side of the pencil, you get a much thicker deposit of coal. You know, it's sort of like lazy girl makeup really, isn't it? If you know how to use the right brushes and the right tools, you can kind of create those looks without sort of too much effort. And be brave at sort of extending the colour around your lash line, especially here, even further out. Just pulling it on the outside, just slightly. I don't want to create a flick. I'm doing something really soft and smoky. And also, because of the shape of my eyes and of how old I am, I don't want anything hard or coming out too soft because my eyes aren't able to take that shape anymore. But you can still pull it out at least sort of five millimetres out of your eye. Okay, so on to mascara. Now I'm going to be using Legendary Lashes 2. Now, this has been reformulated by Charlotte because as much as everyone loved the kind of voluminous, long, legendary lashes that the first mascara did, it also contained lots of nourishing oils um, and unfortunately those oils, um, as much as they were good for the lashes, it didn't give longevity to the mascara. So she went back um, to the factory and has now come back with Volume 2 or Legendary Lashes 2 and she's created a formula that doesn't smudge. Now I've used this for the past week and I haven't had any smudging at all. Um, so I hope that works. Sometimes you can get smudging underneath your eyes because your lashes sit very close to your skin. Um, so you can't almost say this does not smudge because I don't know what your eyes are like, I don't know what your skin's like, but for me I haven't had any smudging so it is completely different to the other mascara in terms of its longevity. But as you can see it's also really really effective. It's a really lightweight formula the brush is really sort of separated um, and it doesn't gather too much mascara onto the brush. I was sort of scared at first that it was going to deposit quite a lot on and I'd have to kind of be combing through but that's not the case at all. So nice! So I like that smouldery sexy eyes but I want to put a lip with this just to brighten it up a little bit. Um, now I love coral lipsticks in the sun as you all know um, and this is sweet apricot. Now um, it's from Bobbi Brown. It's your moisture, I think it's moisture, no it's nourishing lip colour. Right, can I just show you how lovely this looks? Now it's not for the coral shy, oh yeah, this is gorgeous. But let me tell you, if you've never tried a Bobbi Brown nourishing lipstick, when you're next in store, go in because the texture is just mm, one of those that you just want to keep rubbing your lips together. And I'm not going to use a lip liner for this because I want the effect to be really soft. Um, I've got a strong eye as you can see and I want this to be quite soft. And also who can be faff with a lip liner on holiday? Rub rub rub, again just take that off the cupid's bow and I'm just going to blend it with my finger just ever so slightly to set that colour off. Off on the outside. Mmm. Do you know what though? I feel a bit washed out. So let's just see how that works. I do this all the time with my lipsticks. I love it because it just kind of unifies the makeup. And if you've got foundation on your skin and maybe you think, oh, I've gone a bit too far. Because lipsticks have got so much pigment in, you can get a nice bit of colour without too much slip so it doesn't lift your base too much. I hope I haven't gone too far with that, but I quite like it. It's really hard to tell in this light that keeps going up and down. All right, to finish off, I'm just going to push the colour. This is my Kitco brush. The brush is flat, so it gives you a nice crisp edge to your lip line. I love this colour. Gorge. 
little bit of messy hair, tuck it behind my ears. What do you think? It's definitely doable. It's really easy in the makeup bag. It's not heavy. It's not fussy. Suits everybody. You don't have to have such a strong lip. You can even make it softer on the eye, but um, I think it's a great makeup for summer that you can do mindlessly, but look fabulous every evening. Hope you have a great holiday guys and I look forward to speaking to you down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe and have a lovely holiday if you're jetting off soon. Bye for now.